Welcome back to our channel. We're excited to have you here. Before we begin, if you're new here or haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us continue providing content like this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Now let's dive into today's topic. Debunking common misconceptions about first aid. We'll be covering a range of situations from eye injuries to treating serious wounds and even water rescues. Stay tuned to learn how to respond effectively and correctly when faced with these emergencies. Ever wondered if what you know about first aid is fact or fiction? Today we're going to debunk some common misconceptions about first aid, so the next time you're faced with an emergency, you'll know exactly what to do. First up, what should you do if you get something in your eye? If it's a piece of glass or something sharp, don't try to remove it yourself. Instead, have someone drive you to the hospital. But for something small like an eyelash, wash your hands, blink, and let your tears do the work. Next, let's talk about treating wounds. The best course of action is to clean the wound with soap and cool water, then apply a dry bandage. This simple step will speed up the healing process. Contrary to popular belief, rubbing alcohol or vinegar on a wound is not advised as it can cause intoxication or raise acidity levels. Now what if someone faints? Lifting the person may seem like the right thing to do, but it can actually worsen the situation. Instead, raise their legs, loosen any tight clothing, and don't let them stand up immediately after regaining consciousness. Coffee and energy drinks should also be avoided. If you've burnt your hand, avoid applying butter or sour cream. They can dry out your skin and trap heat, causing more damage. The right thing to do is run cool water over the burn for 15 minutes to relieve pain. Dislocated a joint? Don't try to play hero and fix it yourself. This can lead to further injuries. The best thing to do is to immobilize the limb and seek medical attention as soon as possible. Sprained muscles need cold, not heat. Applying heat can actually increase blood flow and cause more swelling. Instead, Apply a cold compress to reduce inflammation and alleviate pain. If you suspect poisoning, don't induce vomiting. This can potentially cause the poison to enter the lungs or result in burns if the substance was caustic. When it comes to water rescues, always approach the person from behind to prevent them from panicking and dragging you down with them. Grab them under the armpits or by the chin and move towards the shore. For serious wounds with objects embedded, don't attempt to remove the object, as it may be preventing bleeding. Clean the wound with alcohol, but be prepared for some pain. Applying ice directly to the skin can cause a cold burn. Always use a cloth barrier between your skin and the ice pack. Lastly, skin glue is a quick and painless way to close small wounds. Just be sure to wash the wound with cool water first, stop any bleeding, and then apply the glue. Next up, let's talk about allergic reactions. They can range from mild to severe, and in some cases can be life-threatening. It's crucial to know how to respond. Mild symptoms may include rashes, hives, or itching. More severe reactions might involve difficulty breathing or loss of consciousness. If you suspect someone is having a severe allergic reaction, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. If the person has an EpiPen because of a known allergy, help them to use it. Remember, don't try to treat a severe allergic reaction by yourself. Get professional help. In summary, remember to wash wounds with cool water and soap. Avoid inducing vomiting in case of poisoning. And never attempt to fix dislocated joints or remove objects from serious wounds yourself. These steps will help ensure the best outcome in an emergency situation. 